Hello, my name is Kent Hovind. I was a high school science teacher for 15 years. Now, since 1989, I've been an evangelist operating the ministry Creation Science Evangelism and Dinosaur Adventureland in Pensacola, Florida. One of the great privileges of my uh, ministry is I get to do debates at universities against those who believe in the theory of evolution. What you're about to see is a debate that I did in Little Rock, Arkansas in the early spring of the year 2002. I would be honored to come do a debate at your university or against any number of professors at the same time. The object is to get the truth out to the kids. We want students to be taught the truth. Uh, we believe the scientific evidence indicates that God's word is absolutely true, and we defend that against all comers. Hope you enjoyed this debate. We have an awful lot of other materials on creation evolution. You can get our catalog or call our website or call our office, and we'll be glad to send you information about the other materials we offer on this topic of creation evolution. Thank you. Thank you, uh, thank you all for coming out. Um, I, I have an announcement to make at, at the beginning, and Paul, I, I, I sort of apologize for not uh, for not telling you this sooner, but but it has it has to be said. Well, I, I was doing preparation for this debate and looking up various things and trying to come up with various arguments and counter-arguments for the points that I knew or that I thought that uh, Dr. Hovind here would, would raise. And I started thinking about all of the all of the arguments that he'd made in the previous uh, debate, all of the things that he'd said, all of the points that he'd brought up that I just found myself incapable of, of refuting, and I did a good deal of background digging into uh, the claims and the statements and the facts uh, that Dr. Hovind uh, presented, uh, thanks in part to his very excellent website, uh, www.drdino.com, uh, which I uh, can uh, highly recommend. And I started to think about the way I'd taught evolution in the past, about all of the students of mine, some of whom are here tonight, whom I'd bullied and brainwashed and intimidated and you know, generally tried to make feel bad because I couldn't get them to convert to my own particular mode of thinking. And I thought about the way that, it, you know, the, the senseless waste of taxpayer money for, for me to go in and act like an indoctrinator rather than an educator and the way I've always insisted that my students accept this because it seems so right to me. Well, well, this is not particularly easy for me to say. It's not always easy to talk with your, with your foot this firmly uh, planted in, in one's mouth, uh, but I want to make a public promise right now. I really don't want to make this a typical adversarial name-calling, uh, angry, uh, mocking debate the way I sort of remember the last one as having been. What I'd like to do is make this a learning experience because from here on out, whenever I teach my evolution class, which I have to do because it's what they hired me for, I want to add a creation science section to it. And I want to learn about what it is I should be teaching, because I come from a very secular background. Thank you. Thank you, all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Still on? Great. Um, you know, the high school I went to was a public high school in, in Louisiana, great education capital of the world that it is. Mm -hmm. And things like this just weren't covered in um, uh, weren't weren't covered in, in my high school. I, one friend of mine was actually taken to after school detention for saying the name of Jesus out loud. Uh, that's what the atmosphere there was like. I kid you not. And uh, of course, in my, my college education, first at Tulane and then at the 
uh, the People's Republic of Berkeley, um, California, which is a little different from here, I might add, just, just a touch. Uh, of course, I was not exposed to things like this. So the reason I came here was not so much to defend my own case, because evolution is far past anything that I could say to defend it. Uh, what I really would like to do here is learn some of the things that I should be teaching, some of the things I should be presenting, and the ways in which I should be presenting it, um, to make sure that all of my future classes are even and open-handed and non-intimidating to people of all persuasions who should happen to uh, who should happen to take them. And so I really don't have anything else to say. I ended up not presenting a, a particularly strong defense, and I hope this doesn't um, upset the, uh, the presenters. We were told to make this a debate, so in my own uh, feeble way, I will uh, do my best to answer any points that uh, Dr. Uh, Hovind here uh, brings up. But what I would like to do, and what I hope some of you will do, is um, is simply to make this a learning experience for all, for us to learn about, um, well, in my case, learn about what I need to be covering better, which is uh, which is the creation view. And I know that wasn't 15 minutes. Uh, this could mean we all get out of here a little early. Oh. All right. Well, thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate that. This is my 65th debate, and that's the first time I've had someone say they would like to be open-minded about it. And I really appreciate that. And I will come at my expense to speak to your class anytime you'd like. Okay? So let me know. Here's my position. I believe in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. I believe he did it in six literal days, exactly like he told us in Exodus chapter 20, verse 11. I believe the world before the flood was very different. The people lived to be over 900 years old. I believe the word evolution is confusing to the kids because there are six different meanings.